Welcome to Impetus Solver, the finite element analysis software that is driving precision by offering unique solution methods, such as higher order elements for explicit analysis and a powerful yet intuitive user interface. This video will introduce you to the intended workflow in the program. What you see now is the opening screen. Here, you can choose to start a new project or open an existing project or a compatible file. These files include mesh files, impetus input files and impetus output files. In a project file, these files are organized to help you keep control and give you easy access over large collections of files. A project file is managed in the project screen. From here, you can do quick edits to your input files, duplicate input files, run simulations and monitor simulation progress and output files. For extensive editing, you should open your input file in the assemble screen. Here, you have many windows that guide you through the setup of input files. In the object tree to the left, all the features of your input file are neatly organized. If there are issues, the solver will also give you warning signs where applicable. From this window, you also control the coloring of the model that the solver will show in the preview window in the center. The preview window shows you the mesh in your input file. By highlighting different features in the object tree, this window can also show you loads, geometries, node selections, symmetry planes, and more. In the command editor to the right, the solver shows you the input file as it is stored on your computer. Impetus solver input files are set up using commands that define simulation conditions. All of these commands are explained in the command manual, which you have access to in the bottom window. In fact, this input file is a complete file for applying a load to the top of this beam that is clamped in one end. In our basic model tutorial series, I explain exactly how this is done. Finally, you have the object info screen tabulated together with the command manual. What shows here is dependent on what is highlighted in your command editor and often gives you an easy way to interactively modify your input file. Once your model is complete, you can start your simulation by pressing the solve button. This brings you into the solve screen. This screen logs all simulations or jobs that has been run on the server that the solver is connected to. When adding a new job, the solver gives you options that allow you to control output destinations, GPU selections and job priority. Once checked as desired, you can start the job by pressing Start Job. The job will then appear in a new line at the top of the job list. If the solver is already busy with other job, the latest one will be queued, otherwise it should initiate immediately. You may then monitor the progress, kill or terminate it, or post-process the completed parts of the simulation. In the post screen, the results from the simulation is visualized. The solver gives you the option to render contour plots of many reported outputs, plot results, dump screenshots or render videos, as well as investigating limited parts or elements of the model. In the post screen, you also have the familiar object tree to the left. If the results inclines you to modify your simulation, you can return to the project or assemble screen and update or duplicate your input file. 
This completes the essential workflow of Impetus Solver. As you might have noticed, there are two additional screens, Editor and Help. The Editor gives you access to a text editor and the command manual without the interactive features in the assemble, but with the option to tabulate multiple input files at once. The Help screen is a good bet if you run into issues with the Impetus Solver. I hope that with this video and our other tutorial series, you won't be needing it.